good afternoon let's say it's what is it july the 14th i think uh here in the south in north carolina and i want to talk about propagating mums now uh, where i live is partial shade and i propagated some of these mums a couple years ago they're like a orange uh they're real pretty but they're kind of lanky and so I'm going to take them to my mom's, but I was going to propagate a few for here, and then I'll take them back to my mom's because she has full sun. But anyway, uh, after a couple of years, when they come back, because you know, they're perennial, uh, they get tall. So here in the south, I don't know how it is in the north, uh, it, it's July, so you don't want your mums uh, blooming now. You want them in the fall. So I always you have to cut them back. If you're not gonna, I'm propagating, but you cut them back about halfway and then they'll bush back out, come back out and be real pretty for the fall. So for propagating mums and a lot of things is the same process. Um, you get you some, now I use some uh, miracle Grow potty mix. You can use different kinds. I use some Pyrrolite and some peat moss. And to mix that up, it's almost like a seed mixture so then you you know put them in your pots get them nice and wet and i'm hoping i can do this one-handed we will see try to find the tall one here so here here's one so i'm gonna cut it back about like that and it'll come back so try to put this down see if it'll work sorry nope let's see I can see. I know you don't want to look at my hand. Ah. Well, that's not going to work. I don't have a little stand. I'm working on that. So what you do, and I usually, I, prop, um, I compost, so, oh, I save everything. I get a bucket for the blooms. So you're going to, when you're propagating now, you cut the blooms off. Because any flower, when you're trying to propagate and make more, you need to cut off the blooms because you want them to send their energy to the roots, not to the blooms. So you cut them off. I save all the stuff. Try to do this one hand. Anyway, hold on just for a second. Okay. You got to strip it down. Cut the blooms off. Then, let me see strip the leaves off. I've got some root hormone here and everybody always says uh, you know you gotta throw away the root and powder because you might get a fungus or something and I risk it. I mean I think this is about five dollars but I've had it for a while. So I wet my plant, dip it in the hormone, shake off the excess, excess, stick it in there. Now I've already pre-wetted it, pre -wetted. My pots mash it on down there and then hold on just for a second now, I think I'm gonna wind up with about two trays and when you're propagating you want to leave them in the shade if they're outside or if they're inside you cover them up so you don't want them in the full Sun right now they'll go in shock so now these I don't know I've got some st. John's wort some catnip I don't know if it'll come back out and then my other mums that I propagated, now these are kind of looking kind of lanky. I just done them. So I'll see if they come back. And then I got, now all these were yellow. And I just put these out in the sun. You can see. And after you propagate, you give them like a little tug. Give them a couple weeks. See if they've rooted. And so you got to keep them moist. And so I got some yellow mums. And then I'm going to have some red mums. So I hope I explain myself and I hope you like this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.